Hello my friends, Mark Thomas, a home builder, and welcome to my home outdoors channel. Today is a beautiful evening here in Michigan. It's actually the hottest day of summer so far, and we haven't even gone over 90 degrees yet, which is something I've never heard of in my lifetime that I recall in Michigan. Um, but today we did, and it's finally cooling down, so I'm going to bring forth this video right here. This is the Ghidorah Oshinkoff OX52 Tong and let's go and take a close look at, at all the stats of it. Overall length is approximately 15 inches. The jaw width, I've seen somebody online advertise at 10.4 and yeah it's just a little just a little over 10 inches. And here's a cork ergonomic handle. And if you've seen any of my other videos I talk about the cork like the felling lever, it's not like cork off a wine bottle, it's heavy duty cork that looks like it's built to last. And it's got a great grip, and it looks like it'll last you for years and years and years. All right, now the tips on here are very sharp. They dig right into the wood. I've only used this a few times, just trying to get the hang of it. And they are a forged pattern where the tips are hardened. So it looks like you can go a long time before you ever need to sharpen the tips. All right, now I think we should give it a test out. What do you say? All right, so here's my chopping block right here. I have cut some blue spruce. If you've seen my felling lever video, this is some of the wood from that. And you can grab the ends of it. Let me get a measurement for you, just so you know, like the width, the diameter of this. This one is pretty close to nine inches. And hey, you just lift it off and you just twist it. You get a little hang of this and I think you can learn how to release it. You can grab a log that's on its side. I grab it near the top. That way it rotates. Look at that. Now this might sound a little crazy, but sometimes like when I'm splitting wood after eating a big meal, the last thing you feel like doing is reaching way down the ground, picking stuff up. And this looks like it's going to work really well. And also, if you are like, doing stuff in the wintertime, when you're wearing gloves, it doesn't take that long when you have cold wet wood before your hands get soaked and this holding that handle that cork handle and never touching the wood you're going to go a lot longer without having to wear gloves so let's um, go through a few more tests i'll show you how it works just so you know it's not a couple of lucky times that i've used it taking it off all right you can actually grab a small piece of wood there let go of it Another piece of wood back here. You can just grab it in the center and carry it. There, you do that. Like I said, grab it on the end. Now, I've heard some people say these are really great, but you may want to consider getting two. And I didn't really think about that um, when I first got this. I only have one, but it might make sense to balance your load have. If you're going and carrying logs from one section to another, you can have one on each side, so you know it balances your load. So, um, not a bad idea getting two of these. As you can see here, I have some logs that are buried in the weeds, and I want to dig them out. I've used the pickaroon or the hookaroon before for that. But we're going to see how these tongs work. Start off with a smaller piece on top. Looks like you can skid it right out. And you know, you never know if there's like an animal or something in here, so it's. Nice to be able to reach in without your bare hands. All right, there's another two foot log right there. All right, I can drag this right out. That looks like a five foot log there. Hey, look at that. One hand, I'm just reaching in there and grabbing this stuff in a hurry. There's like a six or seven foot log. You can drag it right out. All right, thank you for checking out my video. I hope you find it useful. If you do, please give me a comment or thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Yeah, take a closer look. I didn't mention you can store it. Really, you don't have to lay it on the ground. It works very nice. All right, please check out soon. I've got my other, my next video review coming up. It's the Big Ox by Oshinkoff. It is 
the OX635H. H, again, it stands for the Hickory handle. It's got the rot band system. And this is a serious splitting wedge. And I mostly cut hardwood. And I think this is going to be my tool for splitting the six full cords of firewood that I go through every winter. So stay tuned for that. That'll be out later this week. Thanks for watching. Cheers.